To improve recommendation on sparse data, this paper uses item and user similarity on top of latent factor models. Uh, so this paper is called Semi-Supervised Learning Meet uh, Factorization Learning to Recommend the uh, Chain Graph Model. It is from the March 5th of 2020. It's from uh, uh, Chao Chao Chen, uh, Zhenjiang University, University of Illinois, Kevin Chen Chuan Chang, University of uh, Illinois, uh, Shi Bin Li and Xiaolin Zheng, College of Computer Science and Zhenjiang University. So in this paper, what they do is that they combine uh, latent factor models. So this, you know, this uh, matrix, uh, uh, matrix factorization, um, usually. And uh, after that, they apply the smoothness based on similarity between the um, between items and users. So what the, and uh, on top of that, they add some conf, uh, some sort of decay of the further you are in this uh, similarity uh, graph, the less uh, further you are from certain rating, the less that uh, rating impacts the the rating uh, where you are on the on the graph. And uh, so, using the similarity, which is here on this GGM example picture, uh, they achieve uh, better results, especially on sparse data. So when the data is not really sparse, the improvement it did, for me didn't seem that uh, you know that dramatic, but still it was I guess it was slightly better. So one more thing uh, that is important here is that they do, don't do similarity on pairs of item and user, but instead they only look at the similarity of items and users separately. Uh, they call this joint uh, smoothness. And they do this because uh, that uh, reduces the uh, computational complexity. Um, so they to 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 predict uh, to to predict this uh, latent factor models. They use Bayesian network, and on top of that network, then they use Markov random field to achieve the smoothness. They have also this confidence over decay. Which didn't seem to they didn't seem to propose that they would base it on you know the amount of data or how confident are are about the rating. Instead, they uh, just seem to have just a, you know constant less than one, which is then uh, put to the power of distance on on this similarity graph. And uh, using that, the, they, uh, they, you know, sort of decay influence of ratings that are far away from uh, other ratings. So again, they, you know, they do this uh, prediction based on latent factor model of ratings. On the ratings, they, they, they smooth one then out uh, based on similarity between items and users separately and they achieve better results on sparse data. So the abstract is following. Recently, our 10 factor models have been drawing much attention in recommender systems due to its good performance and scalability. However, existing LMFs predict missing values in the user item matrix only based on the known ones, and thus sparsity of the rating matrix always limits their performance. Meanwhile, semi-supervised learning provides an effective way to alleviate the label that is rating sparsity problem by performing label propagation, which is mainly based on the smoothness inside on affinity graphs. However, graph-based SSL suffers serious scalability and graph unreliable problems when directly being applied to do the recommendation. In this paper, we propose a novel probabilistic chain graph model to marry SSL with LM LF, uh, um, semi supervised learning with latent factor models. The, the proposed uh, chain graph model is a combination of Bayesian network and Markov random field. Bayesian network is used to model the rating generation and regression procedures, and Markov random field is used to model the confidence ever smoothness constraint between the generated ratings. Experimental results show that our proposed chain graph model significantly outperforms the state of the art approaches in terms of four evolution metrics with a larger performance margin when the data sparsity increases. Right. Uh, 
So where we have contributions, we summarize the main contribution of the phase curve as follows. We propose a novel chain graph model to marry semi-supervised learning with latent factor models for alleviating data sparsity problem of recommender systems, which is, we believe, is the first attempt in the literature. We propose joint smoothness instead of pairwise smoothness, which has better efficiency. We propose confidence aware smoothness approach to alle alleviate the unreliable problem in recommender system scenario. The best of our knowledge, this is the first attempt. Our model scales linearly with the observed data set since we adopt the dimensionalized reduction technique and confidence aware smoothness approach. Um, so once again, they have this, you know, origin data, they then do the decomposition and get this U and V matrices, they predict the ratings and, auto, and then they smoothen out the ratings based on similarity of the users and items separately. They call this joint smoothness instead of a pairwise uh, smoothness, pairwise as affinity. Uh, they do this, you know, the, based on the similarity. What they mean by this is that uh, that's um, uh, similarity on these uh, graphs, the affinity graphs. You know, here we go. Uh, the graph-based SSL makes recommendation mainly based on the smoothness idea on affinity graph. Uh, the SSL first needs to build UR pairwise affinity graph. So instead of doing that, they do this. Uh, just the user affinity and ident affinity. Okay, regression smoothness. Let's go, let's go. So, did they have this section realizing smoothness when they describe again this joint smoothness, this, uh, smoothness on uh, separately on items and separately on users? Uh, then there is a section about confidence of our user rating smoothness. So uh, as, as I mentioned here, they have this small alpha and then the distance on the affinity graph, uh, which makes it decay, which makes the, you know, the, uh, the propagation of the, the, the smoothening out makes a decay, such that, you know, rating that is far away in terms of the users and items uh, doesn't impact another rating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and in the end, uh, they end up with this objective function where they have, you know, they have sections uh, about this confidence aware smoothness and then they have, have sections about latent factor models and they converge with all of this. Uh, they achieve the linear complexity as was mentioned uh, and they test this experimentally on movie lens and uh, last FM and delicious data sets and you know they show improvement i think just a couple of percent but in in case of the sparsity they show much much better results but still it seems that it may be worth it and they also do a comparison of the joints and pairwise smoothness and uh, i think here they claim that uh, it's a uh, that they don't lose that much uh, quality with, uh, with just using the joint for smoothness. Okay, conclusion. In this paper, uh, we have proposed a probabilistic exchange graph models to marry SSL and LLFM uh, to improve recommendation performance by alleviating the test parasite problem. The proposed uh, CGM is a combination of the base and network and micro field. We use dimensional interaction of idea of the latent factor models in base and network and use the smoothness idea of semi supervised learning in micro field. We propose to perform joint smoothness instead of a pairwise smoothness to save affinity graph build time. We also have proposed a confidence aware approach to realize joint smoothness to address the affinity unreliable problem in recommender systems. 
Our proposed approach realized the ideas of both uh, semi-supervised learning and other factor models and address the challenges of adapting semi-supervised learning in recommended systems, thus possesses the merits of both Latin factor models and semi-supervised learning. We have conducted experiments on four popular world datasets, real world datasets, and experimental results showed that our approach significantly outperformed state-of-the-art recommendation approaches especially on data sparsity scenarios. Hey, thank you very much. Please dislike and unsubscribe. I hope you got your juice, the spice of the paper, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, bye. bye.